For over 300 million years, Florida was part of Gondwana land, a supercontinent that was Africa and South America. And then more recently, it belonged to the native peoples who lived there for at least 12,000 years. Then in the 1500s, Spain invaded and renamed it La Florida, which is Spanish, and it means an abundance of flowers. But without the law, Florida just means flowery. So flowery was a huge territory that included all of present day Florida, plus portions of Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Louisiana. And Spain occupied flowery by force for 300 years, angering and displacing all the nations who already lived there until 1754. And then this 22 year old kid, British soldier named George Washington, ambushed a French diplomatic party and he kicked off a world war over this land. So native nations made the impossible choice of picking which of these foreign intruders would be the least destructive. The Haudenosaunee, who the French called the Iroquois, the Catawba, and the Cherokee, they all went with Britain, and Britain won. And that was great news because King George III issued the Royal Proclamation of 1763. Any new European settlements west of the Appalachian Mountains would be forbidden. This land would be reserved for native populations only in perpetuity, meaning forever. But Britain was gonna keep flowers. 20 years later, the British colonists revolted against their king and massacred their former native allies. Britain abandoned Flowery, giving it back to Spain. And all three superpowers continued to violate treaties with the people who'd lived here in the first place for 12,000 years. Then 25 years later, President Jefferson and Secretary of State James Madison decided to purchase the entire middle of the continent west of the Appalachians from the French who'd just taken it from Spain, doubling the size of the newly united and formerly British colonies. Now, there was enormous opposition to this from Congress, not to mention the citizens of the nations who'd lived here for 12,000 years, making a pretty straightforward case that nobody really had the legal authority to sell it to anybody. Well, the newly united and formerly British colonies, they ignored those claims. And in fact, they decided that sale of the middle of the continent to them also included West Flowery. Formerly British and now independent slavers began invading, sending slave hunters to raid black Seminole villages. Spanish flowery ceased to exist in 1821, when Spain ceded control to the newly United States. And then 84 years later, in 1904, a family of migrants fled the monarchy of Italy and arrived in Pennsylvania looking for jobs and opportunities. 74 years later, their great-grandson was born in flowery. He grew up there and used millions of taxpayer dollars and migrants like his ancestors as props to lecture the country about illegal immigration.